Good morning. The kids are over there eating breakfast. I feel like I need a little something because I am starting to like just feel sick feeling. Um, but I'm trying to wait just for my coffee first. So good morning. Today is a busy day for us. We have a big day tomorrow. So I thought I'd kind of bring y'all along for just a little bit of our day today. Um, and as we're like preparing to get everything ready, maybe get the house in order. Ethan needs to pack his stuff. Um, so yeah, it's a big day tomorrow. So I thought I'm gonna vlog today um, because it might be a little while before I get another video out. Um, not sure exactly when, but yeah, the kids are eating breakfast. Rand does have preschool today. I'm gonna let her take the rest of the week off though, but I am gonna let her go to preschool today, which she loves preschool. Like she would never wanna take the day off of preschool. So we're getting ready to bring her to do that. Um, I'm gonna pack her a, a quick lunch this morning. Um, so yeah, a busy day. Um, and then I've also got like a small grocery order that I put in yesterday just to kind of get things that we need and like simple, easy things for around here for the kids while we're gone. Um, they will be here with family. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go grab that when we are heading out, but come along for our last day as a family of five. So I threw a hat on because my hair's so dirty and I'm gonna just wash it really good tonight. Um, but Millie, What's beside you? Whose seat is that? Baby. That's for the baby. We installed the car seat last night. The car seat's ready. And I'm grabbing coffee this morning. I'm gonna drop a rent off and we're gonna grab our groceries, which I haven't even got a notification yet that they're ready or that I can see like my order substitutions. So um, maybe I don't have any substitutions, so that'll be good. But I still haven't got that notification, so. That's weird because it's always, it always comes in by now, but I don't see anything yet. All right. I'm not doing a full grocery haul because I've just done a big Sam's Club one and I literally just got like a few, as you can tell, like convenience things. Still need to clean up from breakfast. Wanted to make sure I have enough dry shampoo for the next couple of weeks. Convenience. <laughs> uh, snacks. Okay. These berries look so good. I think I'm going to eat some of these for breakfast. Because these strawberries look like the best that I've seen in a long time from Walmart. They look so good. Um, cinnamon rolls. You know, just all the convenience things. Drinks. So, I just got like a small order. Things that I thought the girls might eat while we're gone. And uh, we didn't have any fruit. We needed stuff like that. So, that's literally it. Dry shampoo. Made sure I have plenty of that. <laughs> that's a necessity. Ethan needed some body wash. So, it's pretty much it. All right like my last bump day everybody um i feel like i get so many comments saying i look like i have a boy belly <laughs> but honestly i feel like i don't know i feel like my belly with each pregnancy always looks it's always i feel it looks very similar to my last couple pregnancies so that i feel like i look really low today though it could be what i'm wearing sometimes with what i'm wearing i feel like depending on what i'm wearing my belly just looks lower or maybe higher but i feel like it looks lower today so maybe that's a maybe that's a good sign for progress tomorrow is what i'm hoping um but anyways this is the last time i'm gonna have a belly like this so i've enjoyed it though i just got a package from nespresso i didn't really like necessarily need coffee right now but i'll I figured I might as well just go ahead and get a couple more. And they just came back out with their um, iced coffee ones. I like the seven ounce pods iced forte. So I got two of those. I didn't really need any of the other ones because I've actually got plenty here from my last order. But I also ordered one of their um, bottle, like iced coffee bottles is what I think it is. I think it was like $20 on their website. And I need like a good iced coffee cup. So I'm excited to open this and kind of see what it looks like. So that is it. It's got a lid. Hold on. This kind of just pops off. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Super cool. And then it's got a straw. Or it's got an extra straw. Excuse me. So I already got a straw in here and it came with an extra one. I'm going to have to try that in the morning before the big day. Unless, I don't know, I might tell, I actually might tell you to go grab coffee in the morning. Um, but yeah, and it comes with like a, so excited about this. 
iced coffee cup. So I'm really excited about that. But if y'all never tried, if y'all have an espresso, an espresso machine, they actually didn't have these for a while. I guess they had gotten rid of them until the summer months again. Um, but they just came back out with them. So I love those. They have such a good taste to them too. But I'm really excited for this. I asked y'all over on Instagram to see if y'all had any like last minute questions. So when Ethan gets home, I think we might go over some of those together. He's got to get packed. Um, I'm actually going to take the I'm going to go down and wash this and keep it in my in here. But um, I think we'll, we will uh, answer some of those um, maybe when he gets home. So the girls are napping. I've got I washed the last little bit of laundry. A lot of whites, a lot of darks, and then our sheets are currently in the wash. So that will, way they'll be good and clean for our family who will be here. Um, got the last little bit of laundry done. Hey girls, where are we going? To Dairy Yes, we're gonna go get an ice cream cone. Daddy's gonna be working just a little bit later today. Yeah! I was gonna say tonight, today. So, um, which uh, today's his last day for a while, which we're so excited about. Um, but he's gonna be working a little bit later, okay. so we thought, uh, we love the dipped ice cream cones from Dairy Queen, the orange, and I think they have a cotton candy too. Um, and we love those. So we're gonna go get like a small ice cream cone since so Daddy's gonna be working a little bit later today. All right, I was gonna film this part with Ethan, but we just can't get the time with the kids um, to do this by ourselves and quiet and peace and quiet. So I'm gonna film this part by myself. I've answered, or I asked on Instagram, do you have any like last minute questions? So I'm gonna go through like a few of those. Um, maybe questions that I have, haven't really answered, um, or just a lot of the same questions. I'm going to go through and answer those. We just, we tried starting to film this together and it just was not happening. So I'm just going to do all of this by myself. Um, uh, Ethan will definitely be helping me filming the birth and all that as much as we can at least. Um, so he'll definitely be in all that. But as far as this video, it's a little tough. First uh, question that I want to go over is where am I going to announce the gender and the name first? And I'm not completely sure yet. With Millie, I, we knew her gender, but nobody on social media knew her name. All of our family and mo I think all, mostly all of our friends knew her name. But... Um, Nobody on social media. I never announced it on social media. But with this baby, uh, well, also with Millie, I, I think I had a thought in my head, like I'll announce in a video, but then I got too impatient and decided to um, announce her name on Instagram first. With this baby, nobody knows this baby's name. Like we haven't told any of our family or anybody knows our boy and girl name for this baby. We thought, you know what? We are, nobody knows the gender. Let's just keep our names to ourselves too and just announce all of that once we know what baby is. Um, so I'm not exactly sure whether I will make, it'll be in a video and maybe in the birth vlog, which will obviously be a little bit longer before we get that out or if I'll announce it on Instagram. Either way, make sure you're following me on Instagram because that will be where you see like, I'm sure like first picture of baby, whether we announce the gender or the name. Like I've got like a gender neutral outfit that I've got for baby, for like baby's first outfit. So I'm not exactly sure yet. I think I'm just gonna see like how I feel after the birth. Do I wanna wait and film a video announcing both or do I, Am I just too impatient and want to go ahead and say it on Instagram? I'm going to see how I feel and what I, what Ethan and I feel like we want to do. And hopefully that will be respected from everybody. Um, so we'll see. I may do a video, may film, or may announce a little bit before that. So we'll see. Definitely follow me on Instagram. Um, also, what do we think the baby is, which I've answered before. Um, Ethan thinks this baby is a girl. He, um has said from the beginning, he thinks the baby's another girl. I have said, I think the baby is a boy. Um, just my instincts. I don't know. I could be very wrong. Um, we've gotten no hints throughout this whole pregnancy, like anything from ultrasounds. Like we literally saw nothing. Like anytime the ultrasound tech would get near there, we would look away. Like we got, we literally have had no hints this whole pregnancy. Going off of old wives' tales, the way I'm carrying, 
the heart rate, um, the lack of sickness in the beginning this time, it points more towards boy. And maybe that's kind of like why I'm kind of thinking more boy too. But then again, we have no idea. So stay tuned to see who's right, Ethan, either me or Ethan. Um, and another question that I got was, was I scared throughout the pregnancy when I had ultrasounds? if the ultrasound tech would slip up and I was because I wanted absolutely no hints like I wanted this to be like just a complete surprise at birth with no hints and any like anytime I had ultrasound which I only had like a couple uh, or a few ultrasounds the last ultrasound I've had was like at 22 weeks it was like a later anatomy scan they had to do a follow-up anatomy scan um well I think I did have a few more ultrasounds than that because I did have to go to the high risk doctor and every time I went there they do um an ultrasound but Either way, I haven't had one since 22 weeks, but n no time that I had an ultrasound did the ultrasound tech slip up, did they give us any hints, did we see anything at all. And I'm so glad but because I was, I was very scared that they would slip up or we, were, we would see something. Um, are the girls excited and what do the girls think the baby is? The girls are very excited. I think Ran has said girl. Millie has said both. Like Millie, I don't think she fully understands yet. Um, and then Delaney, it says boy. So they are very excited though. So many well wishes from y'all and prayers for this uh, delivery. And I just want to say thank y'all so much for that. As soon as we can, um, I will get a birth vlog out at least the birth vlog as much as we can film. We're going to film as much as we can, but thank y'all so much for the well wishes, for the prayers. Um, so many of those when I asked um, y'all on Instagram to send me some questions. I got a few times, will I tell y'all the other name, like whatever the gender is, whatever, because we have a girl and a boy name picked out, I will. Yes. So if the baby's a boy, I will definitely still tell y'all the girl's name or vice versa. Also, what am I most nervous for and what am I most excited for? I'm just really excited to see who this baby is and um, I'm so glad we've held out on finding out the gender. I can't tell y'all how many people have said so many people when i've said no we didn't find out the gender it's a surprise so many people were like oh i could never do that um but then so many people were like that is so awesome and but i can't tell you how many people have said i don't see how y'all do it i can never do that <laughs> um but i'm so glad that we've held out i've always wanted to and i'm really glad we have this time um, but what I'm most nervous about is, um, with Millie, I had some like postpartum, like baby blues. I didn't have postpartum depression because it, it didn't last very long either, thankfully. But those first like few weeks were really tough, my emotions. I didn't really show that a lot either. It's just something that I didn't show to social media or family or many people I knew. That's really what I'm most nervous about is um those emotions after birth which are very um very common and happen to a lot of women after birth but i'm just really hoping that um I, you know they're not bad or they're not any worse than last time and hoping that they're actually better than last time so that's what i'm most nervous about just my emotions and like those baby blues and all that that i had last time i'm just hoping i don't get that again those were the most common questions and the things i wanted to go over but also i wanted an easy video to get out tomorrow because this because the last question that i was going to answer is when is my induction date i am 37 weeks as of today the day i'm filming this i'm filming this on tuesday and tomorrow I go in for my induction. And if you are new here, I'm getting induced for blood pressure issues, which I've had every other pregnancy. Um, and so when you see this video, I will officially be in labor. So the right as you're watching this, I will be at the hospital and I am in labor. So I wanted to get this out and, um, go ahead and get this video out the next video you will see is a birth vlog um whatever we can film with the birth vlog um but i'm officially in labor as soon as you see this so that is the last thing i wanted to answer induction day is the right when you're seeing this video so we are very excited for that all right we've got ethan laid his clothes there i think he's gonna stick his stuff in my bag because i've got plenty of room got baby stuff laid out there's some more last minute stuff that i do need to get in the morning i don't think we're going to use that i got this bag out for ethan but i don't think we need it 
Luigi, the poppy, baby's bag, my blanket. I still need to, after I edit this video, get computer, camera stuff, and all that. And the biggest thing is I've got clean hair. I kept saying like, or I kept thinking, okay, if I go into labor before my induction date, I just really want to have clean hair. Like, just give me time to wash my hair. Make sure my hair's clean. <laughs> my hair's clean, so it's all ready to go. Final guess. Oh, boy. Girl. Boy, girl. All right, we'll see who's right. We will see y'all in our next video, which will be a birth vlog. We see this currently in labor. So, see you guys soon. Bye.